Hi there, Mikhail is here, and this is a binary asteroid Didymus. Its primary body is approximately 780 meters across, but it also has a small satellite or moonlet called Dimorphos, which is about 160 meters in size. It's by the way larger than the Statue of Liberty. This pair orbits the Sun quite close to Mars and Earth, but as NASA wrote on their website, this asteroid is not a threat to Earth. Actually, there is no need to worry since this asteroid will not approach our planet until November 2123. That's why this is an ideal object for the DART mission. Developed by NASA and the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, they want to crash this spacecraft into Dimorphos and see how it will change its course. If you want to know how this mission will prepare us for hazardous asteroids that might hit our planet, and there might be hundreds of such objects, then carry on watching this video, because it will be very interesting. The launch of the mission is planned for November 24, 2021. NASA decided to use SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket to deliver the probe into space, and the total budget of the mission is approximately 314 million dollars, which is pretty affordable. However, the spacecraft is basically a fridge-sized box with two large solar arrays and a single instrument called Draco. No, not this Draco, this Draco. This is a high-resolution camera that will measure the size of the asteroid and determine the impact site. Interestingly, it will also stream images to Earth in real time before the spacecraft crashes into an asteroid. Something that we already saw when the Osiris Rex mission successfully touched down on Bennu. NASA will use a very efficient unpropulsion engine, because, you know, the power of ions, and the new transformational solar array technology that will provide us with three times more power than the current solar panels. In addition, DART will carry another member of the mission, a CubeSat named Lisha Cube, developed by the Italian Space Agency. It'll be deployed 10 days prior to impact, and Lisha Cube will capture images of the DART impact itself, the cloud of dust, and maybe even the resulting crater. Basically, it will watch its partner die. The DART mission will arrive to the asteroid in late September 2022, when Didymus is within 11 million kilometers of Earth. Thus, telescopes on our planet will be able to study the consequences of the impact. It will occur from September 26th to October 1st at a speed of approximately 6.6 .6 kilometers per second. As a result, it will shorten the time it takes the small moonlet to orbit Didymus by several minutes. It won't be a disastrous explosion that will disrupt the asteroid system, and it won't intersect Earth's orbit at any point in current predictions. The energy that DART delivers to the Didymus system will be low, and that's why they decided to hit an asteroid's moon. Even after the impact, Dimorphos will still be orbiting Didymus, and it won't have a single chance to change its course and head towards Earth. What is more, this DART probe is just the first part of the international mission called Asteroid Impact and Deflection Assessment. Many organizations will study the effects of crushing an impactor into an asteroid moon. In fact, there will be two probes involved, the DART developed by NASA and the HERA mission developed by ESA. It'll be launched two years after the DART's impact and will reach the asteroid in the year 2027. The moonlet is Hera's primary target. Spacecraft will study its shifted orbit and explore the formant crater. Along with Hera, two CubeSats developed by scientists from different countries will be studying the asteroid. And actually, this is quite awesome that space agencies started using CubeSats beyond Earth. We need a very interesting CubeSat. This mission is certainly just the beginning. In fact, astronomers have discovered 27,000 near-Earth asteroids, and 2,000 of them are potentially hazardous. The DART spacecraft is a test mission, but thanks to its scientific data, we'll be able to develop a full-fledged plan on how to prevent a potential collision with a space rock. Even NASA admits that, quote, 
While no known asteroid larger than 140 meters in size has a significant chance to hit Earth for the next 100 years, only about 40% of those asteroids have been found as of October 2021. Now we just wait until scientists share with us their thrilling images of this space event, because our civilization kinda depends on it. And as always, thanks for watching very interesting videos, bye.